Did you have to read this question twice when you first saw it? I did. It's a bit weird. We've got Club X, Club Y, and then we're told some percent of Club X are also members of Club Y and vice versa, and we need to know whether those statements are sufficient in order to answer which club has more members, essentially. It's a yes-no question. Now, intuitively, I don't see any way how either of these statements would be sufficient on its own. And indeed, if I draw a Carroll's diagram, also known as a double set matrix, it's clear that no, neither of these statements is sufficient on its own, right? You'd have x to not x to total and y to not y to total. And then you would throw in each of the ratios that each of the statements provides. And on their own, there's just no way to get to an answer. Where this gets more interesting is when we combine the statements. And I think what I would do for that is I would actually construct a ratio outside of that double set matrix, uh, specifically for the members of both clubs. So that would be that top cell, the, the both and cell of the double set matrix. I'm going to grab that. Let's just call it B for now. So B is for both. So that's the number of members who are both members of X and members of Y. And I'm going to construct a ratio for each of the statements. So statement one tells me that B to X, I'm using X as the total number of members in club X. Uh, B to X is 20 to 100 or one to five if we reduce. Uh, and then statement two is also talking about B, right? That same number of members who are members of both clubs, X and Y. But this statement is giving us the ratio of B to Y. And here again, I'm using Y for the number of members of club Y. And what is this telling me? That B to Y is 3 to 10. And the question wanted to know which is bigger, X or Y. But the thing is, once I have both of these ratios, both of which features both, I can consolidate those two ratios and find the exact ratio of X to Y which of course would be sufficient to answer the question. So you can stop here and go ahead and pick C and move on to the next question. Uh, but just for practice, let's go ahead and follow this through. What I would do is I would expand that first ratio by a factor of three so that I have the same number of ratio units for B in both ratios. So we have three ratio units for B, then X turns into 15 ratio units because I expanded that ratio by a factor of three, and y is still 10 ratio units. So now I can see in my consolidated ratio that x to y is 15 to 10, which of course you could reduce to three to two. So does club x have more members than club y? Yes, it has a ratio of three to two members compared to club y. Another way to say that is x has 50% more members than y does. And as I said, the correct answer is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.